I could have absolutely swore like a couple weeks ago or like last year, all I saw was GameStop dead, GameStop doomed, GameStop trash, GameStop being sold for two cents per a share. They're done, stick a fork in them. Not even the Reginator can save them. But then guess what guys? We're here in 2021. And one of the most incredible things that I have ever seen has happened literally dudes that look like this and also who look like that have banded together in order to take this company who had shares at two dollars and a half bag of crusty chips per a share and has taken it to astronomical heights so essentially what's going on here guys is that gamestop has surged in stock price creating millionaires out of bums and creating people who have no idea what they're talking about when it comes to the stock market all of a sudden into geniuses it's absolutely incredible and i absolutely love it now this is joking okay so don't take everything that i'm saying when it comes to what i'm saying about people serious i'm just having a little bit of fun but honestly this is crazy and it's such a 180 it's a 180 and a half which would be a 360 no a two something whatever you guys get what i'm trying to say here right like this has just been amazing in terms of what's happening with gamestop and their stock and how gamers are reacting and how people invested in it and the funny thing is that all of the big wigs over on wall street want to shut this down they want to go and whine to the government they want to go do all these other different things in order to try to act like this is unlawful and there's no this could happen because they see us they see the normal people as plebes they see us as a bunch of nerds. It's like, how are these guys making money on the market and all this? And remember, GameStop was supposed to be dead. The customers, all of us, we all hated GameStop. We all said it was horrible, that they have bad practices. They don't pay their employees, which they don't. Their stores are too pushy with the sales. They don't have enough different types of games, blah, blah, blah. It was like over and over. Like you go there, try to like turn it in a game that you just bought. And they'll give you like three dollars for the game even though it's like brand new or something like that like gamestop has just been run through the mud for like the past like three or four years i swear i've like watched non-stop videos on that and it's so funny to actually see what's happening here because the people who have like hated gamestop or whatever have went to like hating it to absolutely loving it overnight because of all this that's happening and honestly i'm happy for them the more that i researched it at first like i didn't care because like whatever you know but the more that i researched it and i the more that like i saw what was going on the funnier it got and the better it got because a lot of these people that are in this are like the normal gamer out there the people that you just might see commenting on twitter about a random article on video gaming news or whatever the case is and they did what the media elites and they did what the elites in this country have been doing forever influencing and manipulating different types of things in order to get what they want but this time they did it completely fair and legal okay by banding together and getting the stock price to jump up while it was cheap they bought a bunch of it and then continuously got more people to buy into it so i saw like an analogy on twitter i thought it was like the best one to kind of describe what's going on so i forgot exactly what year it was but there was a year I think in the like the 2000s, it was like the, the, the late 2000s, it was like the early 2010s, there was a year to where the fans could vote for who was on the cover of Madden and the fans banded together and said, hey, we're going to vote for like the worst player on this list. So you have like Tom Brady and Ray Lewis and like Randy Moss and you have like Aaron Rodgers and you have like all these different people or Brett Favre. All these different people that you can pick from that were like elite at the time and they all decided to pick Peyton Hillis. Okay, like Peyton Hillis. They had like one good season or something like that. Dude had like one good season in the NFL. One really good season. And after that, he was kind of done, you know? And it was so funny. They all banded together and said, hey, let's pick this guy. Because we think it'd be funny to see a Cleveland Browns running back that's not even that great just kind of had a good season behind a good offensive line and he's on the cover of madden instead of like tom brady and all these other guys that clearly deserve it more and i think that's a great analogy to what's going on with this gamestop stock at this point i saw that on twitter i'll have a link to it if i can find who said that but i thought it was hilarious for that so you know gamestop was supposed to be dead right it was supposed to be dead but the stonk happened right i mean that's what everyone's been saying like the stonks 
the stonks have been going in, but I have to also give some stonk power to Reggie fils -Aimé. I think people are forgetting the amount of time, efforts, and power that Reggie fils -Aimé has on GameStop. Listen to me. I know some people haven't been saying that, but here's the reason why I'm going to implant Reggie fils -Aimé into this. Reggie fils -Aimé brought the GameStop name back from it's just going to be doomed, doomed, doomed to hey, this is a guy for the gamers. This is a guy who's been out there in that trenches. This is a guy who knows what he's talking about. He was with Nintendo more than a decade that he was with Nintendo. And that got their name in a somewhat positive light. I feel that GameStop and some of the policy changes that came afterwards, plus Reggie just being there, I'm telling you, he might have been the stonk precursor, okay? He was the stonk precursor to all of this. I know the whole Reggie signing was last year, well before this crazy stuff was happening, but you have to have a catalyst. There has to be something from somewhere and I would say the stonk starter might have been Reggie fils -Aimé, combined with a bunch of other things that are more important, but still, Reggie's there. You gotta give him just a little bit of credit, okay? A little bit of credit when it comes down to it. So, I wanna ask you guys a question. Where are your stonks at at this point? I need to know, did you guys get in on that stonk when it comes to GameStop? I should've, I wish I did, but I didn't. But I'll report on it for the people. I'll report on it for you guys, so. <laughs> What are you guys' thoughts on this? I would love to hear what you guys have to say. But we do need to transition into something else here. And I want to talk about the Mario plus Rabbids potential sequel. Like, that could be incoming. So, recently, there was a change. Or at least, I'm not sure if it was exactly recently. But people noticed it at this point. So, the official Rabbids Twitter account changed it to, like, at Mario Rabbids Twitter account. Which sparked all types of speculation that we could see a Mario plus Rabbids sequel, which I think that would make complete sense, guys. If you look at it, Mario plus Rabbids was a game when it was first rumored, people said, shut up, OJ. People said, shut up, everyone that was reporting on it. This is not real, you're stupid. You, you don't know what you're talking about. Why the heck would Nintendo team up with this crusty franchise, Rabbids, that's pretty much been a failure ever since like the first couple games. Why would they team up with them with Mario? Such a successful name for a like, weird shooting type of game. Like, why? That makes no sense. And you know what? I was in that same boat. I was like, yeah, this makes no sense until I actually saw the game. Like, I saw it beforehand. I had a source that let me see it. I knew that it was on the Snowdrop engine. I got it from that source as well. And I was like, wait a minute. This might be really good because this is made by passionate Nintendo fans that work at Ubisoft. They're very passionate. They love Nintendo games. And they wanted to build something very unique and they got an opportunity to work with one of the best franchises in the world, one of the most popular ones with Mario. I'm not sure, no, no, no. I know that they're not gonna mess this one up. And I had to talk to so many people about this when it comes to my comment section, people saying there's no way, but way, right? Like it ended up happening and it was great. It was such a good game. And it was one of the best selling third party games on the Nintendo Switch, if it's not the best selling one. I think Monster Hunter Rise is gonna beat it out eventually. But Mario Plus Rabbids ended up doing absolutely amazing and people love the gameplay. So I would not be shocked if they do make another one. And if you think about it, guys, listen here, that was back in 2017. They had obviously been working on the game for a number of years beforehand, and they've been done for a while. They had the expansion that they did, but they've been done for a while now. That game came out four years ago. It'll be going on four years ago this summer, okay? So I'm pretty sure they've been working on a new one. And I remember even the guy who was like the lead uh, developer on it, you know, he was like, if it sells like 2 million, he's gonna like run around, do something crazy or whatever. And it like sold more than that, like more than two years ago. And they've been having crazy sales and discounts on the game. So it's selling really well, it's doing good. And I think they've been working on a new game. They also were upgrading their studio and getting new talent in there. I know they were hiring as well for that studio that did it. So they've probably been hard at work on a new Mario Plus Rabbit. And I feel that we have a good shot at seeing it this year around E3 time or so. So what do you guys think about a potential sequel to Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle? I know I would want to see it. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, and moving on to the final topic here, guys. The AMD CEO has stated that we'll probably still be getting PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X shortages throughout the first half of the year and probably around the second half or so we might start seeing where the stock kind of catches up with the demand because right now it's been pretty crazy right we have had sellouts everywhere of the playstation 5 and the xbox series x we've had a lot of serious scalping problems and people 
who do it in a bad way, right? Not people who actually go on there and buy the system themselves by hand and happen to get one, but people who use bot software to manipulate and to buy up all the systems so they're just sitting in warehouses and sitting in garages like that has been a problem as well. So it seems like there's been a number of different things that these developers or more like the retailers have done to kind of counteract this. So obviously beefing up their anti-bot protection. I know Walmart said that they block bot hack attempts or whatever the case was on their system to get PlayStation 5s. Yes, that's helped out, but still not a lot of other places are doing that. But now what I'm seeing, which is a double-edged sword, which I'm about to talk about right here, is that they're doing bundles, right? They're doing these big bundles where you get like two controllers, a couple games and stuff like that. Maybe they throw in a headset, I don't know, all just all sorts of crap, right? And at first I was like, oh man, like they're forcing people to buy bundles and everything. I don't know if I like that. But then again, I had a number of people say, well, wait a minute here. This is actually a good thing too, because scalpers don't necessarily like to have these bundles forced upon them because they can't sell those games as easily, right? That's not as easy to do. They would have to just sell the system for an inflated price. And of course, their profit margins are also going to be a bit lower as well with that. So with this, you're actually getting people who want to have the system, the game, an extra controller, and all the other stuff saying, okay, yeah, I want all that, so I'm going to buy it. So I do think that's also some like built-in scalping control right there as well. So once again, it's a double-edged sword. You're forcing people to maybe buy stuff that they don't want, like a copy of like NBA 2K. Some of the bundles come with that and all that. But at the same time, you might be stopping some of these bot users to be snapping up systems just because it's like, hey, I can get it for $3.99, $4.99, $3.99, $4.99, right? So I think it's a good and it's a bad thing there. But at the same time, more and more people I see on Twitter and everything are able to get systems, are able to actually go in there and have some success and get it. So that's a good thing for all the gamers out there because like I talked about in one of my previous videos, this whole bot scalping thing is really negatively affecting the sales of video games, of Game Pass, and of stuff for all of these manufacturers. And you want the systems in the hands of gamers, right? Who are actually going to buy games for it and them not spending crazy amounts, like a thousand dollars or whatever, to get the system then not have money for the games or a bunch of PlayStations just sitting in warehouses instead of sitting in gamers' rooms and people's rooms so they can play games on them. So it's hurting the whole industry overall when people do that. So this is a good thing. I think it's a good thing. Restocks are starting to come in, but we won't see regular stock probably until the end of the year, according to what the AMD CEO has to say here. So not too bad, but at the same time, I mean, hopefully these retailers can continue to do a good job and the manufacturers can continue to do a good job of supplying the systems and making sure they're not snapped up by crazy bots out there. So what do you guys think about all the different topics that we discussed today from the stonks to Mario plus Rabbids sequel and of course, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X stock. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this one here. Check out the links in the description. We've got Twitter. Go to give us a follow on there. Stay up to date on all the latest gaming news and information. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you can. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you for the next one. Peace.